Hey guys, welcome to Toys in the Car, and I'm your host Mike, Mike Monge, and uh, today I got the uh, mail arrived, and uh, I got, finally, my pre-order finally came of uh, G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. So, uh, I'm really happy to get this figure. Um, I got the roadblock while I was in Florida before I started making these videos and uh, I was impressed with the plastic quality and I really like the figure. I might do a review on that one uh, down the line, but uh, uh, this looks like a lot of fun and uh, I'm going to open it here and we'll check it out. All right, so let's uh, take a look. Um, here's Snake Eyes in the packaging. He uh, looks pretty cool. You can see without the glare. There's lots of glare. Um, there's a cool graphic. Him. G.I. Joe logo. Classified series Snake Eyes. Uh, four plus. Uh, I'm a little bit older than that. All right. Some symbols here. He is number two. And this is a really beautiful artwork on the back packaging really nice the uh, Hasbro logo and just a partial graphic here I guess not too shabby let's check him out okay here's snake eyes he's out of the package he's ready to roll um, off the start the plastic quality feels nice uh, the joints are nice and tight, you know. Some of these uh, are, um, oh, no loose joints. He's got accessories. He's got this belt bandolier harness here. Uh, this gun belt here, harness, you know. Lots of uh, moving plastic parts on him. Uh, color is all black with some red and silver paint apps. Really slick. Nice figure. Let's uh, check him out on the dashboard with some of his accessories. Okay, here's Snake Eyes on the dash, the Camaro dash, all right, and Snake Eyes comes with this backpack, maybe there's some lunch in there in case he gets hungry, he comes with the samurai sword, he comes with the holster for his samurai sword, it's got the, uh, how do you say that? As Ashikaji symbol on it. I don't know if you can see that with some glare. He has this uh, Uzi type gun, I guess. Uh, he's got this smaller spy gun. He's got this knife. And uh, I don't know what the heck this is. I'll figure it out. But we'll check it out. I'm going to put them all together. And then uh, we'll take some cool pics. Okay, for some size comparisons, let's check them out next to the Articulated Icons White Ninja Storm Shadow. That's actually not too bad. His ankles are... I don't think I'm going to get him to stand in here, but it's actually not too bad. Better than I thought it would be. Here he is next to... War Duke. Uh, 
<laughs> classic war duke, one of the, the greatest figures of all time. Here he is next to Roadblock. Roadblock's big. And... And here he is next to my bottle of Sunbum SPF 30 so that I don't burn my arms because I'm not wearing sleeves. So there they go. Nice. So like a lot of people, I was really excited when Snake Eyes came out and uh, was announced and uh, pre-ordered. But uh, what I also did when I pre-ordered was I went to Amazon and picked up this uh, wolf figure for Timber. And uh, they go together pretty well. Let's check them out. So that's my review of Snake Eyes. Uh, the articulation is basically uh, Marvel Legends. Uh, basic articulation, you know, lots of points of articulation here. Uh, do I recommend? I do. I wish some of the accessories fit a little better. And, uh, but other than that, it's a fun figure, you know. Um, try not to spend too much over, uh, you know, like the $20 price tag, you know. Uh, but it's a fun figure, you know, check them out. This is going to be a great series. They're putting a lot of work into this, and uh, supposedly there's a video game coming out. I should add that uh, a friend of mine found this in the wild at Target uh, a couple of days ago, so he's out there. You know, you don't have to order them online. You don't have to pay scalpers. Um, look, and you'll find some of these figures. Some of them I understand you don't want to, you know, go crazy. You know, uh, him I ordered from Big Bad right away, Big Bad Toy Store right away, but... Uh, you know, I do like the feeling of going in the store, getting a G.I. Joe figure. I think that's like a great thing that's going on right now. Um, and that's my review. Uh, okay, so check them out. Thanks for watching the, this episode of Toys in the Car. I'm your host, Mike. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me some feedback. And thanks again for watching, and I'll be back soon.